What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have another toy hunt for you guys. Trying to make toy hunts a weekend exclusive, maybe like a Saturday or a Sunday thing. Just because uh, I've been hunting really hard this year. Again, I, I'm sure, I think we've done more toy hunts in 2022 or near the, I want to say it's all 2022. It may be near the end of 2021, but in the last two to three, maybe four months, we've gone on more toy hunts on this channel than uh, we probably had in the previous like five years of the channel in its complete entire, probably not, you know, probably not completely. That may be a bit over dramatic or a little bit of an over exaggeration. However, we have gone on a lot of toy hunts and I've been really enjoying myself. I've kind of found like this new love for collecting. With the AEW line becoming more and more available and having like better collecting goals, it's really drove home the love and fun of collecting more and more. And I think that's kind of where we are now and it's kind of made me want to expand my collection and, and just really just go after some goals that I've set for myself. So it's really revamped myself. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are some headaches involved. I do want to make a collecting goals video. Just so I'll have them in the MDT timeline, you know, on the channel. That way I can go back and look at what I wanted to do this year. Not only what I wanted to do this year, but also look back at it and see what my collecting goals were long term and see if I can accomplish some of those, check those off and things of that nature. Nonetheless, man, we are going on a toy hunt today. Very, very excited to see what we're going to find. feel like we're going to hit a couple Target stores really on the hunt for just any AEW chases as well, as always. You know, that's at the number one. I I think I'm finally going to cave on the retro card Marvel Legends, especially the Spider-Man retro cards, man. They're really hitting me right in the nostalgia face. And I told myself for the longest time that I'd never jump off the cliff, but I've been free falling for months and I've been trying to rappel back up, but it's not working. Nonetheless, man, we're going to be hitting a toy hunt right now. Hopefully it's very enjoyable. I did just wake up, so if I look like garbage or my hair's, I do have some, like a shish ton of cowlicks right now, but you know, it is what it is, man. Nonetheless, I've also been seeing a lot of people finding Elite Series 91. I've been seeing a lot of new figures hitting and stuff like that, so we're just going to go check it out, see what they got, and I'll see you guys on the aisle and uh, maybe we'll see some cool stuff. All right, guys, store number one. So what we got going on right quick. Looking for some AEW chase figures. Okay, so we got Stu Grayson in the house. Haven't seen him at retail just yet. Pretty cool. I think I've seen the full set now. Maybe outside of John Silver, I think. We got Stu Grayson, we got Ortiz, Santana. Those guys have kind of been the shelf warmers of the set. You got two Sheetas, Jake Roberts, still no chase. I, it, it avoids me like the plague, bro. Hurricane, Bob, Jake. China, of course, Elias, Drew, Drew again, more Goldbergs, those Goldbergs have not moved, bro, they're the new China, again, they're the new China, Undertaker over here, a couple of those, Bob Orton again, do not see any chases, we have to clean up the aisles, as always, right, we always have to, but I have not seen a chase Jake the Snake, which is just unfortunate, but Stu Grayson, pretty cool, seeing him at retail, I think, he, I think John Silver's the only one I haven't seen just yet, but... You know, have to pick up the aisle. We're constantly picking up the aisles in the toy on video. It would not be an MDT toy hunt without straightening up the WWE AEW action figure section. It's just become a staple of the channel here. So I will do my due diligence here and take care of things. But it doesn't seem to have much new stuff here. It seems like they stock one or two on Match Series 3. I don't see anything else going on over here. I am going to walk around, though, make sure that we cover all, cover all of our bases. They used to have like 25 Undertaker and Canes. Now they just have a couple Undertakers. I feel like somebody just came in and cleared all of them out, but we do have some other things going on. Again, I don't collect all of these lines, but I do want to show off a little bit of what we have here just in case, you know, maybe somebody sees something that they like. But I want to go around here, check out the Marvel Legends, make sure that we're not uh, missing out on anything over here. Same stuff, none of this has moved, bro. None of this has moved at all. No retro card figures. Jesus Christ, I don't know when these will ever move, man. They even have, not only this, there's an in peg, bro, or an in cap. They have an in cap that has a bunch of Marvel Legends on it, too, and it's all the same figures, so there's no telling when all that stuff will move. Still haven't found the AEW cards either. Can't find any of those. Still have not, like, the sections look the same. I did find some of the WWE Tops cards, but outside of that, yeah, see, found some of these. I can't, I can't find any AEW though. I would love, I need to just buy the, buy the WWE and then trade for the AEW. Maybe that's what I need to do. But kind of empty here. I don't really see anything. I'm not really into the WWE cards, but we found Stu Grayson. 
don't think I'm going to grab anything, but you guys will find out at the end of the toy hunt, I guess. But uh, that's store number one. Store number two, guys. I'm kind of in a hurry, so I kind of got to do it quickly here. But we have Stone Cold Steve Austin. Little Build-A-Figure there. Pretty nice there. Build-A-Figure Vince McMahon. Doesn't look like they have any others. You have Stone Cold China, of course. We have Bailey, Roman Reigns, poor Riho, Ortiz, Lance Archer, another Lance Archer, Undertaker, some belts. I don't think, uh, you know, you gotta look around though. You gotta look around here. Oh snap, bro. Yes. The in cap. We have Kevin Owens right here. Pretty cool. Seen this a couple times now at retail. But we have RVD. We got Hulk Hogan. We have another Hulk Hogan. Dominic Mysterio. Bianca Belair, Sami Zayn, Damian Priest, Drew McIntyre, we got Austin Theory, Drew McIntyre, Kevin Owens, Drew McIntyre again, Bobby, 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 and Bobby. So that's cool there. But I'm kind of in a hurry again, so I'm trying to find as fast as I can. God, they have, I mean, they have a lot of stuff here, man. We found RVD, we found Elite 91 Hogan. I don't know what I want to get, though. I don't think I'm going to grab the Stone Cold Steve Austin that Bailey got some rubbish going on. Bob Orton, Bob Orton, poor Bob Orton, man. Kind of shuffle him in a lot of places. That whole Legends wave is kind of, like, if you haven't found it by now, bro, I don't know what to tell you. I feel like you could find it in a lot of different places, but as far as Marvel Legends, they do have Shocker, another Shocker, Shocker, Hammerhead, got the Mark One. Got Ben Riley. God, dude, I really want to pull the trigger on all those. I need, I need a mock set and a loose set, and I just am just holding off and holding off. I feel like I just need to pull the trigger, but I don't know, man. Jesus, the clock's winding down. What the hell am I gonna get? Stone Cold looks sick as hell, though. Wish they had Shawn Michaels. Ah, I'll see you guys at the house, I guess. All right, guys, another day, another toy hunt. Another very successful day, man. Another very successful day, and I'll get into some other things. I almost pulled the trigger on a lot of stuff there. God, it was hurting my feelings, to be honest with you. <sighs> Nonetheless, man, let's get into what we got right now. Let's start off with our WWE figures that we grabbed. Yes, I did grab some, and I gotta be real with you. Once I show this off, you may be shocked. You may be hella shocked to find out what we grabbed here, but I'll do some explaining and things of that nature. So, we did grab grab the Elite Series 91 Hulk Hogan's. I grabbed both of them. I had to grab both of them because I know that Hulk Hogan figures, man, once they are gone, they're probably gone and you're going to have to pay a lot of money for them after market. I love the double jointed arms. I know the torso is not accurate for this guy. I know that, right? Like, it's it's one of those things. Maybe one day, a long time in the future, I'll probably always have shirts on these guys more than likely. Maybe not. You know, maybe one day long in the future we can get updated Ultimate Edition torsos for all these Hogan's and stuff like that make the figures look a lot better but when you see Hulk Hogan's at retail you kind of have to grab them man you have to grab them because once they're gone they're gone and you're gonna have to pay crazy aftermarket prices and Hulk Hogan's one of those guys that I've never been a massive fan of I've always loved like the looks of him and stuff like that but I've never been one of those like Hollywood Hulk Hogan is my favorite version of Hulk Hogan and I have two of those but I really do would like to have you know how I have like a lot of different iterations of a lot of different characters Hulk Hogan's one that I only have five Hulk Hogan's and I feel like compared to a lot of other guys that I have I really need to expand on that collection so Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, Ultimate Warrior those are guys that I'd like to expand on in 2022 so there's lots of looks that I'm missing lots of figures that I'm missing that I'd like to track down but it starts with grabbing Hulk Hogan's when you find them at retail and that's what we got here so I did grab two of the Elite 91 Hulk Hogan and you're probably like bro how in the blue hell did you not grab Elite Series 91 Kevin Owens, Elite Series 91 RVD, Sami Zayn. There were lots of amazing figures at that store, and I decided to pass on them for whatever reason, man. I just passed on them. It hurt my feelings, but I had to do it. And actually, the reason I passed on RVD is because literally the other day, I customized one of my uh, Elite 91 RVDs, but I after I customized that one, I think this makes my third Elite 91 RVD, I ordered one on Amazon immediately after customizing it. So when the figure dropped, I ordered two. I got one to review on the channel. I ordered an extra one with an extra Elite 91 Hogan when those went up for pre-order and then the other day I customized one of them so I went ahead and ordered one from Amazon for like 22 bucks or 23 bucks and I probably should have bought another one right there 
I, I wanted to possibly keep this one mock, but then uh, the package was just atrocious, and I should have known that Amazon was going to kill the box, even though, you know, you know the boxes are pretty fragile nowadays. But when I hadn't opened them up, he's got the big knee pads on there. So that's why I was like, well, I just got another one, so maybe I'll just hold off on getting that one at retail. Probably will regret that, you know. Probably should have grabbed it, but here we are, Brad. And then the other figures that we grabbed, which pains me, you guys know, if you guys have been watching the toy hunts, I've been putting off this figure for a long time, like weeks and weeks. And we finally did it, man. We pulled the trigger on the Retro Cars Spider-Man Marvel Legends Shocker figure. I've always loved Shocker, first of all, and second of all, oh man, I, I hate to say it, but I am about to plummet off a cliff with these Spider-Man Retro Cards, bro. I made the mistake of, uh, the la over the last few weeks, I've been binging, re-binging, I guess, because when I was a kid, I used to watch the 90s animated series Spider-Man all the time at my grandmother's house. And now I uh, am trying to go back and get all those Marvel Legends that I always skipped out on, man. I always had to put them away because I knew that if I if I went into it, it would be ugly. And now here we are, it's rearing its ugly head, and, and that's what I'm having to do now. So now I'm having to play catch up, which is even worse than just paying for it initially. Now I'm paying for it all after the after the fact. So playing lots of catch up, but it'll be worth it in the end, man. So we do have one. I think I'm gonna keep this one men on card, and that's the thing, is not only are we going it'd be different if I was just going for the Lucy's collection, bro, but we're going for the men on card and loose collection, and I'm like so behind because I told myself I'd never jump off the cliff, and again, here I am free falling. Help me God. So we got a men on card version, and then we did get another version, which I will be opening. I don't know if you guys have, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this one has like a ton of ish on the front. Like it's got a lot of like factory glue or like residue on the face of the packaging. And this one looks a whole lot cleaner. So I will be opening the one with all the residue on it, you know, keeping the, the other version mock there. So that's what I'm gonna do. I love these like retro cards, man. They're freaking beautiful. And I've always loved them. I just told myself I can't do it because if I, if I dive in, I, you know, I've, I've, I'm done. I loved the cartoon as a child, and now... Anyways, man, really happy to pick up the Shocker, finally. That's a full series that I do want to grab. So, you guys saw that we had the full series there. I had most of the series loose, but I want to go back and get a mock set, and I, I should have just bought... I should have went ahead and just bought all of them right there, because they were right there. But I don't know. I may have to play the long game on some of them. Most of them go up in value, I feel like, though, after the fact. So, I may go back and buy more. You know, it's just one of those things, right? It's just one of those things for the mental health. Anyways... That pretty much wraps up our toy hunt, man. Had a lot of fun on it. Saw some really cool items. Saw some really cool items. I thought it was a really good day. Picked up four figures, two of each of the same figure. Again, probably should have grabbed some more of those retro cards, but what are you going to do, bro? If Hulk Hogan wasn't there, probably would have helped that. I could have just, you know, bam, bam, bam. Could have spent all that, but here I am, man. So, anyways, man, I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for checking out the toy hunt. Would you guys like to see Sundays be a, a like, toy hunt exclusive, maybe? Maybe Sundays can become the toy hunt day where we post, like, all the, all the clips from the week. Instead of doing, like, two or three stores in a day and then uploading immediately, maybe I can build up clips from all week and then post on a Sunday or a Saturday exclusive for toy hunts man you guys can let me know what you think about that but i'm getting out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next video and don't cross the line like me when i decided to jump off the marvel legends cliff that i avoided for so very long